Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Scruggs. Hello and welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to our final episode of the regular season here of the Joker's Wild. Glad to have you with us once again. All right, we got a full audience here tonight, and they're all vying for a shot to try to make their Tournament of Champions right here tonight, but they have a tough road to get there because our current champion is our number one player on the leaderboard as of right now, but if you can knock him off, you're halfway to getting a shot to make the Tournament of Champions. So good luck to all our players tonight, and we'll announce who is going to be in our Tournament of Champions at the end of this episode. But right now, we got some gameplay to get to, so let's beat our contestants for our first game here on this special final episode of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. Our challenger for our first game tonight hails from her, and she happens to be my girlfriend. It's Miss Sunny Moise, and our returning champion, whose current run stands of four games, a total $207,889. It's Eric Lima. Welcome, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome in. First, I'm going to start with Sunny. I'll say hello to the folks out there. She's gotten to play a couple times during the audience game, but I don't think she's got a chance to really play it doing the Joker's Wild this season. So, first, better late than never, but I guess at this point, right? I, yeah, that's, really, that's how you can go anyway. Uh, well, like I said, if you can knock off Eric and maybe pick up another win, you have a chance to try to get in that Tournament of Champions once we do the math at the end. But are you ready to play? Well, best of luck to you. You got a tough opponent ahead of you. Our champion, Eric, again, currently number one seed going into the Tournament of Champions. No one's going to take that away from you, but you've had a nice run so far. $207,889 in this one. You think you can try to fend these people off from getting into the tournament? It'd be a tough, it'd be a tough call. We got a lot of bright people here and uh, a lot of smart people. So uh, strategy comes into play. Let's see what happens here. I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, good luck to you, and best best of luck to you both. You guys know how the game works. we got categories up on the reels, of course. You pull, pick a category in a single window. It's worth $500 to you. Pick a category in a pair of windows worth $1,000. Pick a category in all three windows. It's worth $2,000. Of course, the jokers are wild. You can use those for any of the categories you choose. First player to get to $5,000 in proper turn wins the game. Goes on to that bonus round where they have a chance to face the devil, earn themselves some more cash and prizes, all right? More importantly, get one step closer to try to get into the Tournament of Champions. So with that said, best of luck to you both. Let's take a look at the categories for our first game of the Joker's Wild today, and they are the following. We have Rock On, Movies, Sports, Geek Chic, Art and Literature, and finally, we've got a pop quiz for you. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players here. There's the champion, and I'll handle it for the challenger here. And as always, challenger starts first, so sorry, that's you. When you're ready, give it a spin. Here we go. We got sports, Joker, and Geek Chic. For 500 or 1,000? 1,000. 1,000, all right. Starting right off with Geek Chic for one thousand dollars. Here comes your Geek Chic question, and again, good luck. Good luck to both players. All right, Sonny, what's the brand name that Logitech uh, computers uses in the Japanese market? Once again, what's the brand name that Logitech uses in the Japanese market? Is it A. Log Nice, B. Logic Suite, C. Logic Cool, or D. Techologic? says tech logic and I'm sorry that's incorrect. Eric, you can pick up a thousand dollars here if you know it. I'm gonna try logical. Logical is correct. You've got a thousand dollars is yours. Alright, okay. off to a good start there. Thousand and nothing. Eric, it's your spin. Okay, a little Norton action here with a movies, Joker, and a Joker. Mm, please. What was that? Movies for two thousand. All right, going with movies for two thousand dollars. Here comes your movies question. All 
All right, Eric, what's the name of the film about two journalists investigating the Watergate scandal for the Washington Post? Is it A, The Pelican Brief, B, All the President's Men, C, Presumed Innocent, or D, Wag the Dog? The Pelican Brief? No, I'm sorry, it's not The Pelican Brief. Sonny, you can pick up $2,000 if you know it. Is it All the President's Men, Presumed Innocent, or Wag the Dog? Um, all the President's Men? All the President's Men is correct. You got it. All right, so done. $2,000 for Sonny. She has the lead, and it's your spin. All right, go ahead. Joker, art and literature, and a Joker. Now you can use the jokers and go off the board and pick any of the other categories if you'd like. But you can only get a thousand for those. If you go with art and literature, you can go for up to two thousand with it. Alright, let's try for two thousand. Going for it. Alright, going art and literature for two thousand dollars. Here comes your art and literature question. Who who wrote the st classic tale Gone with the Wind? Who wrote Gone with the Wind? Is it A. Adora Whiteley, B. Majorney Kenning Rawlings, C. Jane Austen, or D. Margaret Mitchell? Um, that would be Margaret Mitchell. Margaret Mitchell is correct for 2000 <laughs> Off to a big lead, 4000 to 1000 The champ's in trouble here. Eric, go ahead. It's your spin. Uh, Geek Sheik, Joker, and a Joker. Well, I'll try to use Geek Sheik to come back in this thing. So Geek Sheik for 2000 All right. Get this question correct to put you up to $3,000, make the game a little closer. However, if you miss it and Sonny gets it correct, she gets she puts her at $6,000 enough to win the game. All right. So very important on this question under Geek Sheik. Here it is. Which one is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior? Okay. Which of the following is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior? Is it A, the Moore test, B, the Rorschach test, C, the Sharpe wilk test, or D, the Turing test? No one get this wrong, but I'm going to try option C. The shapiro wilk test? Yeah, that will be the one. All right, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sonny, mm -hmm. if you get this right... You get go up to six thousand dollars, and you become the new Joker's Wild Champion again. Which of the following is a test of the machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior? Is it the Moore test, the Rorschach test, or the Turing test? The Turing test. The Turing test is correct. You got it. You're the new champion. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> how, how was that right? That's the one that lit up, so that is the correct <laughs> answer. You are you're right. You are the new Joker's Wild Champion. You got yourself six thousand dollars, and you're going on to face that devil here in just a moment. Well, Eric, unfortunately, I said this is where your run ends, and unfortunately, this is where your time on the main se season ends as well. But you're again the number one seed in the tournament of champions, and that automatically is going to get you a buy into the semifinals. So study up, and we will see you for that episode. Okay. Looking forward to that tournament. Um, thank you for having me on. All right, good luck to you. And you leave us on this run with $207,889 in cash and prizes. So good job for you there. All right. Good job. All right, well, well I'm done, too. sorry, too. Eric. There's no All way right. I should have no okay. gotten nice. that one right, though. <laughs> oh, I screwed up on a couple of questions. It cost me in the end. That's the way oh, the game goes. That was yeah. a blind guess. That's just on that the way one. it plays. All right, with that said, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Sunny's going to take her shot to see if she can face the devil in our bonus round. We'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back here to the Joker's Wild. Our new champion, Sunny, won herself $6,000 so far in cash, and now she's ready to add some prizes to that in our bonus round. Come on over, Sunny. All right, Sonny, here comes your chance to add some more cash and prizes and hopefully raise your total up enough to get you in the Tournament of Champions. Got the prize board loaded in here. We've got some great cash and prize, prizes up there along with some jokers, which will pay you $10,000 in cash each. Give that prize board a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. 
A nice start. Two jokers for $20,000 along with a folding trailer. Makes your prize package $28,313 so far. And you've earned a ball to spin. So spin it again. Okay, go ahead. Joker. Joker. Oh. And a computer camera. A Dell Pentium 4 processor computer. That makes oh. your prize package $53,499. And you've earned the right to play for a brand new car. We got... <laughs> We got three cars up on the board. Which one you want to play for? Let's go with numero uno. Number one. Behind one, we have the Chevy Malibu LS worth $32,683, making your prize package in this bonus round $86,182. Mm -hmm. Cash and prizes can be yours, but only if you face the devil. Yo. It's me, you got this. All right. Whoa, big joke was jackpot. All right, so yep. here's how this works. Your objective now is we got cash up on the reels ranging from $250 to $2,000. you got to get to $10,000 before you see Lucy the Devil pop up in the reels. If you can do that, you win the cash that you win plus your prize package. There are also some jokers up there, which are good. Jokers are going to give you $1,000 in guaranteed money no matter what happens. Spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot, which currently sits at $120,000 in cash. Do spend three jokers on one of your first two spins, however. We double that jackpot. You walk with $240,000. And, of course, if you have a fear of the devil at any time, you can stop and take the money you've won and walk. Okay? Okay. So, all right. Best of luck to you. Reels are all set and ready. You let me know when to spin this, and we'll okay. see if you can't take a prize package. Good luck. Here we go. First spin up. 2000 2000 Oh, a natural triple would have won it. But you got yourself forty-seven fifty. You are fifty-two fifty away after one spin. What do you want to do? Stop or go? She's going for it. Tell me what. Yep. You got this, honey. Here we go. Two fifty. And dang it! Really, Lucy? Why you gotta be trolling on the final episode like that? Dang it! Uh, well. Um, no, I'm sorry. If, if it, the loose devil comes up, there's no respin, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, you walk away with this bonus round with, unfortunately, a giant goose egg. But the good news and more important news is you're still the champion. You've got yourself $6,000, and you're going to play another game of the Joker's Wild. And we're going to have that second game right after this on the season finale episode. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Joker's Wad here with our champion, Sunny. She's got herself $6,000 and that all-important first win. A couple more, she might have enough to make the Tournament of Champions. We'll see how that works out. But right now, she needs another player to play against, so let's meet him now. Our next player for Sunny here on the Joker's Wild, it's AJ Richards. Hi, Brandon. Hi, AJ. Welcome in. Currently, right now, AJ is our number two seed going into our Tournament of Champions, and I believe as long as he can hold on to that spot, he too will also have a bye into the semifinals. So, AJ, you ready to see if you can hold Sonny off from getting in? Yes, sir. All right, well, best of luck to you both. Let's take a look at the categories you'll be using in this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have science, video games, television, history, on the map, and finally we finish with some general knowledge. All right, and I got the controls here for both players. So as always, the challenger starts first, and AJ, that's you. When you're ready, give it a spin. A spin. Television, on the map, and science. Ooh. On the map, 500, please. All right, going on the map for 500, here comes your on the map question. That is a horrible question, so we're going to jump to the next one here. All right, AJ, what is the capital of Montecagro? What is the capital of Montecagro? Is it A, Podgorica, B, Chinasau, C, um, Scope, it's S-K-O-P-J-E, I think that's how it's pronounced, or D, Bratislavia? Can you spell the country, please? Uh, Montenegro. M-O-N-T-E-N-E-G-R-O. 
Oh, Montenegro. Yes, um, I pronounced it horribly. I'm bad at it today. <laughs> um, can you repeat the choices again? Yeah. Pagorga, Chenesel, Skilpe, or Bratislava? Skilpe? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Sonny, you can pick up 500 if you know it. Agorica, Chinesau, or Bratislava? Can you spell the last one? B-R-A-T-I-S-L-A-V-A. Is it Bratislava? No, it's not Bratislava. It's actually Patagorica. Patagorica is the one we're looking for there. And I am going to pick better questions that I can read next time, hopefully. <laughs> All right, no money changes hands there. Score still nothing, nothing. Sonny, here's spin. All right, go ahead. Video games, Joker, and history. Uh, video games. Four. Uh, 500 or 1,000? 1,000. All right. Video games for $1,000. Here comes your question. All right, Sonny, what was the name of the black PlayStation console included in a development kit that let people create their own games? Again, what was the name of the black PlayStation console included in development kit that let people create their own games? Is it A, Elixir, B, Majuk, C, Net Euros, or D, RSX? Is it RSX? No, I'm sorry, it's not RSX. Uh. AJ, you can pick up $1,000 here if you know it. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. What was the name of the black PlayStation console included in a development kit that let people create their own games? Is it Elixir, Majuk, or Net Euros? Is it Elixir? No, I'm sorry. It's not Elixir. It's actually Net hey. Euros. It's Net Euros. It was Net Euros uh. is what we're looking for. All right. So first round, nobody scores anything. AJ, it's your spin. Let's spin. Video games. Video games on the map. Video Ooh. games for a thousand. All right, going video games once again for a thousand. Here's your question. Which one of the following is the odd one out? Again, which of the following choices is the odd one out? Is it A, Chocobo, B, Moogle, C, Hyrule, or D, Materia? Can you the choices again? Chocobo, Moogle, Hyrule, or Materia? Which one's the odd one out? Hyrule. Hyrule is correct. You got it. Of course. I just remember them being Final Fantasy games. Yes, actually, the Chocobo is the little bird you ride on in Final Fantasy. The Moogles are the little guys who help you save your game and deliver your mail. And the Materia is the magic items that you can equip to your weapons. While Hyrule is, of course, the homeland of Zelda, being that one there. So you're on the board first. You got yourself $1,000. And Sunny, it's your spin. Okay. Science! Science! And on the map. Oh. Let me do science for $1,000. right, science for $1,000. Here comes your question. How is the scapula commonly called? Or better refer, what is the scapula more commonly known as? Is it A, the collarbone, B, the elbow, C, the shoulder blade, or D, the kneecap? No idea, so I'm just gonna guess. Um, um, actually, is it the collarbone? No, I'm sorry, it's not the collarbone. AJ, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Is it the elbow, the shoulder blade, or the kneecap? I believe the scapula is known as the kneecap. No, I'm sorry, it's not the kneecap. It's actually the shoulder blade. It's your shoulder oh. blade there. Oh, I was close. All right. <laughs> so no, no money changes hands there. Score still 1000 to nothing. AJ with the lead, and it'll be your spin. Let's spin. Video games on the map and general knowledge. General knowledge for 500, please. All right, 500. 500, here comes your question.
All right, AJ, finish this title of a novel by John Kennedy Toole. A confederacy of what? Is it brats, idiots, imbeciles, or dunces? Dunces? Yes, an imbecile dun confederacy of dunces is correct. You got it. That is published in 1980. In that one. Very good. So you're up to $1,500. You have the lead. Sonny, your spin. Okay. Television, Joker, and general knowledge. Let's do general knowledge for a thousand. All right, general knowledge for one thousand dollars. Here comes your general knowledge question. In what country can you find the mountain of Machu Picchu? What country can you find Machu Picchu? Is it A. Chile, B. Peru, C. Mexico, or D. Bolivia? No, I'm sorry. It's not Chile. AJ, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Is it Peru? It yeah. is Peru. You oh. got it right. Nicely done. All right, up to $2,500, and it's your spin. A spin. On the map, history, and a joker. Let's try history for a thousand. All right, going with history for $1,000. Here comes your question. AJ, which African country was at war with Italy from October 1935 to May of 1936? Is it A, Ethiopia, B, Tunisia, C, Morocco, or D, Libya? Tunisia? I'm sorry, Tunisia is incorrect. Sonny, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Is it Ethiopia, Morocco, or Libya? Um, what was the question again? What African country was at war with Italy from October 1935 to May of 1936? Ethiopia, Morocco, or Libya? Um, is it Morocco? No, I'm sorry. It's not Morocco. It was actually yeah. Ethiopia. Yeah. Ethiopia is what we're looking for in there. All right, no money changes hands. Score still 2,500 and nothing, but it's your spinner, Sonny. Yeah. Here we go. History, television, science. Uh, television. All right, going with television for 500. Here comes your television question. If you don't get this, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed in you. And the only reason I say that is because she's a fan of this show. All right, what's the name of actor portraying Dean, Sam's brother, in the series Supernatural? Is it Jensen Ackles, Bobby Singer, Jared Podesky, or Ian Somerhan? That would be Jensen Ackles. And, of course, you are correct. You got it. 500 bucks. There you go. Again. I watch Supernatural. I <laughs> there is a lot. I'm surprised that show has stayed on the air as long as it has, but it is really good. Seasons. I enjoy it. All right, scores 2,500 to 500. AJ, it's your spin. Let's spin. There we go. Joker on the map. Video games. Video games for 1,000. All right, here comes your video games question for $1,000. AJ, what's the name of the dragonfly that protects Spyro, and Sp Spyro the dragon from damage? Is it Sparks, Alex, Drax, or Ajax? Sparks. Sparks is the correct answer. You got it. Trust me, I played Spyro before, and I knew right about Sparks. That's a lot. Of, it was a fun game. I hope they had so much success with the Crash Bandicoot relaunch recently. I hope they do Spyro next. Personally, I'm just saying. But I hope so too. Yep, thirty-five hundred to five hundred. Champs behind. You need a big spin here, son. All right. So, video games. Video games. General knowledge. Video games for what? One thousand. Yeah. All right. Video games for a thousand. Here comes your question. What company publishes the NBA 2K series since 2005? Is it Acclaim, EA Sports, Konami, or 2K Sports? Two K Sports. Two K Sports is correct. Of course, it's in the name. You're right. Thousand dollars. Nice job, Sonny. All right, scores 3,500 to 1,500. AJ, your spin. 
All right, Jokers. Here we go. Joker on the map. General knowledge. General knowledge for a thousand. All right, going to general knowledge. Here's a question. AJ, what is the capital of France? Is it Frankfurt, Paris, Berlin, or Lyon? Wow. Paris. Of course, it's the city of love. A city of light, I should say. You're right. Thousand dollars. All right, put you up to 4,500. Sonny, you're a spin. Okay. Joker. Joker. General knowledge. <laughs> oh. Oh, General knowledge for $2,000? Mm-hmm. General knowledge for two. Okay. Get this question correct. Puts you up to $3,500. Miss it, however, and AJ gets it right. Puts him at $6,500 and will make him the new champion. Here's your question. When was the first iMac introduced? When did Apple release the first iMac? Is it A, 1990... Sorry, is it A, 2000? B, 1996? C, 1998? Or D, 1997. When was the first iMac released? I don't fucking know. Take a guess. 2000. No, I'm sorry, it's not 2000. AJ, get this question correct, and you become the new champion. Uh, beat the choices. Is it 96, 97, or 98? Is it 98? 98 is the correct answer. You've got it. You're the new champion. All right. Congratulations to you, AJ. You've got yourself $6,500, and you are now the new champion here on the Joker's Wild. You're going to go face the devil in just a minute. Well, Sonny, you played a very good game the first time around, so don't feel uh, you're not leaving here empty-handed. We got yourself six thousand dollars, and we might see you in the tournament of champions. We'll see what happens. Okay. Mm. All right, we're gonna take another commercial break. When we come back, AJ's gonna take his shot and see if he can add to his winnings in the bonus round as he faces the devil. We'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild here with our new champion, AJ. He's got himself $6,500 so far in cash. Ready to see if he can add some winnings to that total there. All right, AJ, prize board's already loaded up for you, so when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. Let's spin. Nice! Three Jokers to start off with $50,000 in cash, and of course, you get a bonus spin. Let's spin. Let's see if he can do it again. A nice package there, water trike, along with a bedroom group, a sleep set, and a trip to Montehigo Bay makes your prize package $66,549. Cash and prizes can all be yours, but only if you face the devil. It's actually pronounced as uh, Montego Bay. All right, AJ, you know how this works. Uh, just a reminder, the Joker's jackpot currently sitting at $125,000. Spin three jokers on one of your first two spins. We double it, and you get a quarter of a million dollars right away. All right, so best of luck to you, sir. When you are ready, give it a spin. Let's see, let's see how you do. Good luck. Let's spin. First spin. Thousand. Two thousand. One thousand. Good start. Four thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars away from a win. What do you want to do? Stop or go? Risking four thousand. Let's go. 1000 250 and a joker. All right, $1,000 in guaranteed money. Up to $52.50 now. You are $47.50 away. What do you want to do? Spend. All right, risk it $52.50. Let's go. $1,000. And oh. let's see. Dang it. Well. Once again, uh, what? Tournament Champions is coming. Not what? Really good. Lucy is causing mayhem every bonus round this time. But unfortunately, AJ, no no prize package for you this time. But good news is you did spend two jokers, so we're going to give you $2,000 in cash. Add it to your upfront winnings. Make sure the champion right now with $8,500. And folks, with that said, we're going to take another quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to see him face against another opponent as we continue toward the Tournament of Champions here on the Joker's Wild. Right after this, stay tuned. 
I'll see you next bonus game. Welcome back to the Joker's Wad. Here, our new champion now, AJ, at $8,500 in cash, ready to take on his next opponent, so let's meet him now. All right, our next opponent here on the Joker's Wild, it's Brody Young. How are you doing today? All right, welcome in, Brody. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing pretty good myself, sir. Are you ready to go at it, see if you can make it to the Tournament of Champions? I hope so. All right, well, best of luck to you. Let's take a look at your categories that you'll be using on this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have music. Entertainment, food and drink, people and places, take a letter, and finally we finish with some potluck questions. Alright, let's unlock the reels for our players. And as always, the challenger starts first, so Brody, that's you. When you're ready, give it a spin. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Let's open for some three jokers. Joker, entertainment, and music. Hmm... Okay, let me try music for one thousand. All right, going with music for a thousand dollars. Here comes your music question. As we begin game three of the Joker's Wild this time with this question. All right, Brody. The band Carl and the Passions changed their band name to what? For a thousand dollars, name the band. Oh gosh. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. No guess? All right. AJ, you can pick up a 1,000 if you know it. Huey in the News? No, not Huey Lewis in the News. You know that Carl and the Passions, better known as the popular band and Hall of Famers, the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys oh. is what they are there. Oh. All right, so nobody changes hands. And Champ, it's your spin. Let's spin. Food and drink, music, and a pair. Food and drink for a thousand. All right, food and drink for one thousand dollars. Here comes your food and drink question. All right, AJ. Also called Montgomery pie, a shoe fly pie is primarily consists of what sticky ingredient? For $1,000, name it. Jelly? No, I'm sorry. It's not jelly. Brody, you can pick up 1000 if you know it. Um, would that be honey? No, it's not honey. Good guess, though. The ingredient in question here is molasses. It is molasses oh. is what we're looking oh. for. Oh. Sorry, so no money changes hands there. Score still nothing, nothing. Brody, you're spent. <laughs> Alright, let's up with some three jokers. There we go. Entertainment, hot luck, and a joker. Hmm. Let's try entertainment for one thousand. Entertainment for one thousand dollars to come to your entertainment question. Oh. <laughs> uh... Gum it, Leroy, I told you not on the set while the show's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told somebody to keep him off my stage. It would be helpful. I'm just saying. All right. Brody, here comes your question under entertainment for a thousand. Before hitting the big time, what entertainer played the piano at a pretzel commercial featuring Chubby Checker singing a jingle based on the twist? Again, for a thousand dollars, name him. Uh. Oh, gosh. I, I can think of, like, so many entertainers who have played the piano. Uh... I have no idea. No guess? Alright, AJ, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Little Richard? Good guess, but not Little Richard. It's actually famous uh, piano player Billy Joel. Billy Joel is who we're looking for there. Oh. Alright, no money's changed his hand still. AJ, it's your spin. A spin. Entertainment, hot luck, and people and places. People and places for 500 Alright, people and places for $500. Here comes your people and places question. Alright, AJ. 
Who was Ashton Kutcher's famous older woman wife? For $500, name her. Demi Moore. That is right. You got it. You're on the board. 500 bucks for you. You strike first. Brody, it's your spit. Alright, let's get some food. Come on. Entertainment, Joker, and food and drink. Uh, food and drink for 1,000, please. Alright, go on food and drink for 1,000. Here comes your food and drink question. Alright, Brody, French's prepared mustard condiments come from what country? French's prepared mustard condiments come from what country? For $1,000, name the country. Uh, gosh. Um, I, uh, it's hard to think of a country when you, uh, when you have so many, uh, uh, when you have, like, like, you can picture the condiments in your head, but you just can't remember where it was, so I'm going to have to pass on this one. All right, pass in. AJ, you can pick up a 1,000 if you know it. France. You would think so, but it's not France. Actually, French's mustard is actually made right here in the USA. Right here in the United States is what oh, we're looking for of there. Course. That's right. All right, so no money changes hands there. Score still 500 or nothing. AJ, you're spent. Plus 10. Music, Joker, and a triple. I'll go off the board for people and places. Power Jokers to go off the board going with people and places for $1,000. Here comes your question under people and places. All right, what computer CEO bought one of Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks for over 19 million pounds back in 1994? For $1,000, name him. Bill Gates. Bill Gates is correct. You got it. All right, scores fifteen hundred to nothing. Brody, your spit. I need to get something on the board. Come on, give it to me. Joker, take a letter and a Joker. Take a take a letter for two thousand, please. All right, take a letter for two thousand. Give you the lead if you get this one right. Of course, the take a letter question. I will give you the first letter, the correct answer that we're looking for. All you have to do is provide the word that we need there. All right, your letter, Brody, is R. Letter R. What R is the fruit of the vine when it has been dried? For $2,000, name it. Oh, gosh. Uh, I can hardly think of any fruits that have got that have the W name for a letter R. Uh... I had no guess here. No guess? All right. AJ, you can pick up 2000 here if you know it. Right? No, it's not right. The uh, the R for the vibe when it's been dried is known as a raisin. A raisin is oh, what we're looking for raisin. there. raisin. All right, so no money there. Score still 1500 to nothing. AJ, you're spin. A spin. Take a letter. Take a letter. People and places. Ooh. Take a letter for 1000 Going to go take a letter for a thousand. Here comes your take a letter question. All right, your letter is T, AJ. Letter T. What T uh, is a stiffened skirt worn by ballerinas? For a thousand dollars, name it. Two two. Two two is correct. You got it. All right, you have twenty five hundred. Brody, your spin. Okay. Come on, boy. Give me some. Give me some. Joker. Joker. Music. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go off the board and go for it. food and drink for one thousand. All right, using the power of the Joker to go off the board with food and drink for one thousand dollars. Here comes your food and drink question. All right, it's a num it's a numbers question, so you got to be within a certain range to get this one. Okay, within thirty, okay. within thirty. Brody, one way or another, within 30, how many seeds are there on an average McDonald's Big Mac bun? Within 30. Hmm. Okay. I had to, I, I had a, I have had a Big Mac before. And I barely counted the seeds that are on it. <laughs> Believe me, I, I pretty much just eat the seeds and uh, 
I don't really care how many they're on it. Um, I would probably say... Um... Maybe... 30? No, it's not 30. AJ, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. A hundred? Sorry, that is not within 30 as well. The average McDonald's Big Mac bun has 178 sesame seeds on it. On average. Oh my god. It's a, it's a lot. Alright, so nobody changes hands. Their score is still 2,500 to nothing. AJ, your spin. Let's spin. Take a letter, Joker, and Potluck. Uh, Potluck for 1,000. Alright, going with Potluck for $1,000. Here comes your Potluck question. All right, AJ, under Pollock, here's your question. On April 25th, 1901, New York became the first U.S. state to require automobiles to have what? For $1,000, name it. A license plate. License plate is correct. You got it. Very good. All right, 3500 or nothing. Brody, you need to get on the board here. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Keep on places. Keep on places. And music. Let's go to people and places for one thousand, please. My people and places for $1,000. Here comes your people and places question. All right, Brody, for $1,000, what famous author of Huckleberry Finn was born and also died during Halley's Comet passing by Earth. For a thousand dollars, name the author. Oh. I haven't even seen Huckleberry. I haven't uh, heard about, uh, I haven't heard, heard about a bunch about Huckleberry Finn. Um, I do remember that he was a, pretty much like a, just a, like a normal hound dog. Uh... I have no idea. No guess there. All right, AJ, you can pick up $1,000 then if you know it. Is Samuel Clemens acceptable? Yes, Samuel Clemens, or better known as Mark Twain. You are correct. You got it. Yeah, you. I think, Brody, you were getting confused with the cartoon character known as Huckleberry Hound. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I kind of got confused there. Yeah, I was looking, uh, looking for the author on that one, but that's okay. Score is 4,500 to nothing. AJ, you could win it on this question. A spin. Entertainment, take a letter, or music. Take a letter for 500, please. All right, take a letter. If you get this right, it'll get $1,000, enough to win the game. Good luck to you. Here comes your take a letter question. All right, AJ, your letter is A. Letter A. What A is an intimate mixture of two or more metals? For $500 and the game, name it. Alloy. Alloy is correct. You got it. You're still the champ. Good game, Brody. Good game, AJ. All right, congratulations to you, AJ. I picked up another $5,000, put you up to $13,500. And then we're going to face off against the devil here in just a minute. Well, Brody, unfortunately, you just ran up against some questions that you just didn't know, but that's okay. We're going to thank you for playing, and we'll see if you're going to make the tournament that champions coming up in just a little bit. All, right. All right, with that said, we're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, we're going to let AJ take a shot and see if he can face the devil on the bonus round. We'll do that right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Stay tuned. We're back here. Their bonus round here on the Joker's Wild. AJ still our champion with thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in cash. Ready to see if you can add some more length to it. Facing the devil. So AJ, when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. Let's spin. Nice start. Dining room group and dinnerware. A digital piano and a Joker makes your prize package so far nineteen thousand ninety three dollars. You ready yourself a bonus spin. Let's spin. 
Nice, a tour of Ireland, a trip to Tahiti, and a Queen Anne console piano. Makes your prize package this time, AJ. $35,222 can be yours, but only if you face the devil. All right, AJ, get to $10,000 or more. You get the prize package. Spend three Jokers. The Joker's jackpot's at $130,000. Do it on one of your first two spins. We double it to $260,000. All right? Best of luck to you. Good luck. A spin. $2,000. $2,000. And Lucy oh, not even playing fair now. Triple, not even a close one, man. Dang it, Lucy! You are not helping the cause here today! Sure. What makes you think I'm not helping the cause, huh, Brandon? Uh, oh my god. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is the way my job is. I know it. Look at my face, see? You think I know That's what the I problem. Mean. I'm tired of looking at your face. Stop showing up! <laughs> For real! It's not gonna stop me from showing you up on the bonus board! I like the architect yeah. do once oh. a while. I need a vacation. Once my a while. goodness. <laughs> Well, AJ, unfortunately, I can't give you any bonus money this time. But, again, you are still the current champion. You've got yourself $13,500. And we're going to take another commercial break. we got time for one more game. So we're going to have that right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. It is our final game here on this extended episode here of the Joker's Wild. And this is what I like to do is our bubble matchup, which is our person who is currently sitting just outside of the tournament has a chance to fight his way in if he can beat against one of our opponents. So let's meet So let's meet our player now. Fighting for his tournament life here in this final game of the Joker's Wild, it's Ian Smith. Welcome in, Ian. Welcome back to the show. Are you ready to fight for your tournament livelihood here on this one? Let's hope. All right. Currently, uh, in Ian's best run of the season, he had two wins and $13,500. If, if you've managed to beat AJ in this final game here, Ian, you will play your way into the Tournament of Champions. However, if you miss it, unfortunately, you're going to be out. So, AJ, fighting to keep the bulk our number seven seed out of the tournament. So good luck to both of you as we look at our final six categories on this episode of The Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, and finally we finish with some sports. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players. And as always, the challenger starts. So Ian, when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's play. Sports, science and nature, and history. Sports, please. Going with sports for $500. Here is your sports question, and good luck to you in this final regular season game here of the Joker's Wild. It starts with this. What country has won the 2016 Ice Hockey World Championship? Was it Canada, Russia, Finland, or the U.S.? U.S.A.? U.S. No. <laughs> AJ, you can pick up five. AJ, you can pick up five hundred if you know it. Canada. Of course, it's Canada. They're better at it. You're right. Yeah. Hey, you S no. You, I should I should have said U S wrong. <laughs> All right, AJ, you in the league? You you're in the league. You got five hundred. Your spin. A spin. Here we go. Joker, geography, and art and literature. Geography for 1000 Alright, geography for $1,000. Here's your question. AJ, what is the southernmost capital city in the entire world? What is the southernmost capital city in the entire world? Is it Canberra, Johannesburg, Santiago, or Wellington? Santiago? No, I'm sorry. It's not Santiago. Ian, you can pick up 1000 here if you know it. I believe it's Canberra in Australia. No, it's not Canberra. It's actually Wellington. It is Wellington what we're looking for there. Wellington, New Zealand, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, scores five and nothing. Ian, your spin. Let's go. 
history, art and literature, and sports. Sports, please, again. Sports again for 500. Here comes your sports question. What country won the very first Rugby World Cup? Is it Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, or England? Could it be Australia, mate? No, it is not Australia. AJ, you can pick up 500 if you know it. Can you repeat the choices? New Zealand, South Africa, or England? Is it England? No, it's not England. Believe it or not, it, New Zealand? it was New Zealand. They won the first World Rugby oh. World Cup in 1987. Why, Mike? What's going in? Alright, no money there. AJ, it's your spin. Let's spin. Art literature, history, and a pair. History for a thousand. All right, going right into history. Here's your history question. AJ, who was the only American president elected to more than two terms? Is it Woodrow Wilson, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Theodore Roosevelt, or Franklin D. Roosevelt? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Yes. He was, elect he was elected to four terms in office from March 4th, 1933 to April 12th, 1945. You are correct. All right, puts you up to fifteen hundred dollars. You have the lead. It's your spirit. Yeah. Now I'm nervous. Let's go. Science and nature, geography, and sports. Geography, please. All right, what's geography for five hundred? Here comes your geography question. Ian, what is the capital of Bhutan? Is it Jakar, Amman, Timpu, or Bishkek? Or Bishkek? Excuse me. Let's go for the option C, please. Thimpu is correct. You got it. You're on the board. 500 for, 500 for you. AJ, you're in the lead with 1,500. It's your spin. Let's spin. Sports, science and nature, and a pair. Sports for 1,000. Right, sports for 1,000. Here's your sports question. AJ, since when was table tennis an Olympic sport? Is it A, is it A 1948, B, 2008, C, 1988, or D, it's not an Olympic sport? 1988. 1988 is correct. You got it. Oh boy. Nicely done. It was added to the Olympic Games that year. All right, you're up to $2,500, and Ian is now your spin. Joker, science of nature, and a joker. Give me science of nature. All right, going all the way, science and nature for two thousand dollars. This will tie up the match if you get it right. Here comes your science and nature question. Ian, which of these planets is not a terrestrial planet? Again, which of the following planets is not a terrestrial planet? Is it A. Mercury, B. Jupiter, C. Mars, or D. Venus? Uh, Mercury. No, I'm sorry, it is not Mercury. AJ, you can pick up two thousand dollars here if you know it. It'd be choices again. Jupiter, Mars, or Venus. Venus. No, I'm sorry, it's not Venus. The correct answer there is actually Jupiter. It's one of the five. It's one of the few gas giant planets we have in our solar system. So, oh. yeah, terrestrial meaning it has significant land mass on it is what we were looking for there. So, all right, no money changes hands. Score still 2,500 to 500, and AJ, it's your spin. A spin. Joker, Joker, Joker! All right, AJ, you know what that means. Pick a category, get the question right, you automatically win and knock Ian out from getting in the tournament. Miss it, however, and the game continues. Again, your categories for this game are geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, or sports. Sports, please. Sports question for the game. Here it is. Which nation qualified for the Rugby World Cup for the first time in 2011? Again, what nation qualified for the Rugby World Cup for the first time in 2011? Was it A, Portugal, B, Spain, C, Russia, or D, Nambia? Namibia? I'm sorry, it's not Namibia, it's incorrect. Correct answer there was actually Russia. Russia qualified for the first time in 2011. I must predict you. 
<laughs> All right, so Ian, your st your tournament hopes are still alive in this one. Scores 500, Your spin. God. Joker, entertainment, and geography. Geography. All right, four. For a thousand bucks. Okay, geography for a thousand. Here's your question: What's the capital of Afghanistan? Is it Dhaka, Islamabad, Kabul, or Kandar? Kabul. Kabul, Afghanistan. You're right. All right. Scores fifteen hundred, twenty-five hundred. AJ, your spin. Let's spin. Joker. Science and nature. Art and literature. Art and literature for a thousand. All right. Going art and literature for a thousand. Here's your question, AJ. Which of the following terms does not refer to a period of Picasso's work? Again, which of the following terms does not refer to a period of Picasso's work? Is it A, the blue period? B, the Rose Period, C, the African Period, or D, the Red Period? Option C. African Period? Yeah. Incorrect. <sighs> Ian, you can pick up a thousand and type the match if you know it. Is it the Blue Period, D. the Rose Period, or the Red Period? Would that be D? The Red Period is correct. You got he just nice tied up the match. 2,500 all. Ian, it's your spin. Science and nature, a double, and sports. Science and nature. All right, going with science and nature for $1,000. Here comes your science and nature question. All right, Ian, what scientists found and turned both the terms oxygen and hydrogen in 1778 and 1783, respectively. Is it A, Antoine Lavoisier, B, Joseph Black, C, Dmitry Mendeleev, or D, Thomas Young? Dmitry. Dmitry Mendeleev? Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's incorrect. AJ, you can pick up a thousand if you know it. Is it uh, Ant uh, Antoine Lavoisier, Joseph Black, or Thomas Young? Joseph Black? No, I'm sorry. It's not Joseph Black. It's actually Antoine Lavoisier. That's who we're looking for there. It's A. Antoine. All right. Score still tight. AJ, your spin. Let's spin. Science of nature, a double, and a joker. I'll go off the board for sports for 500 All right. Using the power oh. of the joker to go off the board for sports for $500. Here goes question. AJ, which category of boxing is the lightest? Which category of boxing is the lightest? Is it the light flyweight, the flyweight, the featherweight, or the light bantamweight? Light bantamweight? No, I'm sorry. It's not the light bantamweight. Ian, you can pick up 500 if you know it. Would that be option C? The featherweight? Mm-hmm. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect as well. Correct answer is actually the light flyweight. The light flyweight, I believe that's like between 100 to 110 pounds. We're talking teeny tiny, like small guys there, for sure. Wow. Yes, you can box at that weight. I actually know somebody who probably could, actually. Pacquiao? All right. No, actually, Pacquiao, I believe, is a... I want to say he's a lightweight, I believe. Or something in that action. I have to look it up and see. Uh, score is twenty five hundred apiece. I right, um, Ian, it's your spin. Geography, geography, entertainment. Geography. For a thousand dollars, here comes your geography question. What country was formerly known as Rhodesia? What country is formerly known as Rhodesia? Is it Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Zaire, or Gabon? Zaire? No, I'm sorry. It's not Zaire. AJ, you can pick up a thousand if you know it. Is it Mozambique, Zimbabwe, or Gabon? Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe is correct. You got it. You're up to $3,500. You have the lead once again. Your spin. Plus spin. Sports. Science to nature. History. Sports for 500 all right, sports for 500. Here's your question. <clears throat> All 
All right, under sports, here's your question, AJ. Who was the youngest player ever to win the NBA MVP award? Who was the youngest player to ever win the NBA MVP award? Is it Kobe Bryant, Derrick Rose, LeBron James, or Steve Nash? LeBron James? No, sorry, it's not LeBron James. Ian, you can pick up 500 if you know it. Kobe? It wasn't Kobe either. It was actually for, he was drafted by the Chicago Bulls. It was Derrick Rose. Rose. Derrick Rose is who we're looking for there. All right, so no money changes. Score is still 3,500 to 2,500. And Ian, it's your spin. Joker. Sports and a Joker. Joke. Oh, sports. Sports for 2,000. All right. Get this question correct to put you up to $4,500. You will have. You'll have the lead. However, if you miss it and AJ gets it, puts him at fifty-five hundred dollars enough to win the game, and will put him at. It will put you out of the tournament. All right. Here comes your question, Ian. In which sport is the European Cup involving leading clubs called the Heineken Cup? Again, which sport is the European Cup involving leading clubs soccer. called the Heineken Cup? And soccer is actually not one of the choices. I'm sorry. AJ, you can get, you can win the game and knock him out of the tournament. Here are the choices: Is it ice hockey, rugby, volleyball, or handball? Handball. I'm sorry, it's not handball. Is it rugby? It is rugby. It is rugby is what we're looking for there. This is a very tense game. Very tense game, back and forth, fighting for tournament livelihood here. AJ with the lead, thirty-five hundred dollars. It's your spin. Let's spin. Art and literature, history, Joker. History for a thousand. Going with history for one thousand dollars. Here comes your history question. AJ, who was the last emperor or empress of India? Was it George the Sixth, Edward the Eighth, Elizabeth the Second, or Victoria? Can you repeat the question? Who was the last emperor or empress of India? Is it George the Sixth, Edward the Eighth, Elizabeth the Second? Or Victoria? Victoria? No, I'm sorry. It was not Victoria. Ian, you can tie up the match if you know it. Could it be Elizabeth the second? No, it was not Elizabeth. It was actually George. Was, was it George the sixth? It was George the sixth. Is the last emperor of India, right? All right. So no money changed hands. There score still 3,500, 2,500. Ian, your spin. Joker history. And a joker. Give me history for two grand. History for two thousand dollars. All right, here comes your question. It'll put you up to forty five hundred dollars if you get it. What was Margaret Thatcher's nickname? Is it A, the Iron Lady, the Ruling Stone, the Iron Woman, or the Lady Stone? Iron Lady. Iron Lady is correct. Oh yes. Puts you in the lead, 4,500 to 3,500. AJ, it's your spin. Let's spin. Art and literature, science and nature, and entertainment. Oh, boy. Entertainment for 500 Entertainment for $500. Here comes your entertainment question. All right, AJ, which feature film has Cameron Diaz made her debut in? The Last Supper? A Life Less Ordinary, Feeling Minnesota, or The Mask? It's choices again. The Last Supper, A Life Less Ordinary, Feeling Minnesota, or The Mask? The Last Supper. No. I'm sorry, it was not The Last Supper. That's incorrect. Ian, if you get this right, it gives you enough to put you into the Tournament of Champions. Again, is The Life Less <laughs> Ordinary, Feeling Minnesota, or the mask. No hard feelings. The mask. The mask is correct. You got it. You're in. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Congratulations to you, Ian. Fought for your tournament, both of you, and you finish off the season as the champion. You got yourself five thousand dollars, and we're gonna add that to your run here. And you let you take a shot at the devil again in just a moment. Well, AJ, we thank you so much, and we'll see you in the semifinals, sir, of the Tournament of Champions, all right? All right. 
All right, if you add that to your previous run, Brody, that gives you now $18,500 in cash. We're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, let's we'll see how he does against the devil in our bonus round. We'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. And we're back here on the Joker's Wild with our end of our season champion, Ian. He's won himself so far. He won that last game and fought for the right to get into the Tournament of Champions. He is now in. We'll have to do some calculations to see where he falls in the lineup. But now we're going to see if he's chance, see how much he's going to add to his previous run here as he takes on the Devil in our bonus round. Because I really like to give away a prize package today. Because the Devil has been running rampant and I need you to stop him for me, all right? So when you're ready, sir, give those give that prize board a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. So nice. So far, a trip to Aspen, an entertainment center with 50-inch protection TV and a Joker. Makes your prize package $18,965 cash and prizes. And you've earned yourself a bonus spin. Hmm. Nice. Two brand new spas and a bedroom group with sleep set making your prize package. $37,919 can be yours, but only if you face the devil. All right, hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars off the grab, and he's not waiting any time. Oh, and, uh, and before, wow! Before I even get a chance to explain the rules, he just went right ahead and pulled it, and fortunately, Lucy came up right away. Help! There's so much. That was kind of anticlimactic, but it's okay. You are still in the Tournament of Champions. You've got yourself $18,500. And we're going to take one final commercial break. When we come back, we're going to do our audience game. And then we're going to add up the totals and see who is going to be competing in our first season of the Joker's Wild Tournament of Champions. We'll do all that right after this. Stay tuned. I didn't mean to hit the button by accident. That's all right. It happens sometimes. And welcome back to the Joker's Wild, folks. Our special season finale episode here. Uh, we are finishing up the regular season on this one. And it's time for our final audience game of the regular season. Now, the audience game will continue on through the Tournament of Champions as well to give our, everyone a chance to see if add to their total. Because remember, the top three audience game winners of the season come back at the end for one final shot at the Joker's Jackpot along with a cat, along with a special bonus prize as well. Okay? So with that said, our three players for today's audience game are Justin, Eric, and Klaus. All right, so in that order, we're going to get, remember you guys, this is how it works. You each get one spin of the reels to get as much cash as you can. Whoever has the most cash wins and goes on to face the devil in our special audience bonus game, all right? Justin, you were selected first, so when you're ready, tell me when to spin it. We'll see how much you're going to win. Right, spin it. Here we go. A good score of $1,000. You have, you've got $1,000 and the money's yours to keep. All right, Eric, it is your spin, and you got to be $1,000. All righty, then. Spin those wheels. Here we go. 200 300 and $1,000, 1500 Gives you the lead now. All right, Klaus, it's over to you. you got to beat $1,500. Want to play against the devil. 1400 and we have a tie. Ooh. All right. I am the devil's younger cousin, so naturally. All right, we have a tie. So in the case of a tie, our two tie players spin again. Higher number again moves on to the bonus round. So Eric, when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's go. 400, 400, and 100. 900 more puts you up to 2,400. All right, you got to beat a spin of 900 here, Klaus, to play in the bonus game. Here we go. 200, 400, 400, it's $1,000 by $100. Klaus wins. It's awesome being the devil's younger cousin. Wow. All that right. Was that was a good tiebreaker. Very good. All right, let's give out the money, Justin. There's $1,000 for you. Eric, there's $2,400 for you. And Klaus, you've got yourself twenty. dollars 
$500, but let's go see if we can add some more to it playing our bonus round. Come on over, class. All right, Klaus, here's your chance to see if you can add some more to your winnings here. Got the prize board already loaded up, so just tell me when. We'll spin it and see what you're playing for. Let's do it. Here we go. Joker, entertainment wall unit, and a dining room group and dinnerware making your prize package down $20,366, and you've earned yourself a bonus spin. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. You spin it. Nice. Two more jokers and a queen bedroom group sleep set makes your prize package $43,464 with the right to play for a brand new car. Three reels up there. Which one is it going to be? Two. Number two. Behind number two. A Ford Mustang worth $21,874, making your prize package in this bonus game. $65,338 can be yours, but only if you face the devil. What should we say if you can beat the devil? Yeah. All right. Here we go. $25,000 in the audience game jackpot. Spin three jokers in your first spin. Double it to $50,000. And you, you walk out of here a big winner added to your total, which will bump you up the audience game rankings. All right? With that said, sir, best of luck. Good luck to you. Let's see. Let's please give away a prize package in this episode. Come on, Klaus. Somebody needs to beat this devil. Can I beat my older cousin? Let's find out. Let's give it a spin. Go back, Klaus. Joker, two thousand and one thousand. All right, three thousand dollars. You got a thousand dollars in guaranteed bonus money. Seven thousand away. What do you want to do? Stop or go? Right. It's going for it. All right, here we go. Seven fifty. One thousand. Two thousand. Sixty-seven fifty. Now you are thirty-two fifty away. What do you want to do? Stop or go? Going for it. Good luck. Joker, 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 we got a jackpot winner! Congratulations, sir. If you'd only done that one spin sooner, I could have doubled your money for you. But still, congratulations. That's $25,000 in Joker jackpot cash. We're adding the prize package. We're adding the Joker bonus money plus the $2,500 you won in the upfront portion of the audience game. You walk out of here a big winner on this one. $96,838. What a way to end the first season of the Joker's Wild on this thing. All right, but yeah, remember the audience game is still going on, so let's say that's not the end of it. So that's a great way to wrap up this long, extended episode here. But now we, it's time to show you guys who is the, our six players are going to be competing in our Tournament of Champions this year. Here's come, here comes the high scoreboard after doing some calculations and adding up everybody's total during the last commercial break. Here's what we're looking at right here. Our six competitors are Eric is our number one seed right now with 11 wins and his best run of the season with $329,236. AJ is our second seed with nine wins, $219,926. Justin's our third seed with four wins, $260,803. Rodney's our fourth seed with three wins, $88,274. Ian, with his win today, added to his bonus round, got off the bubble, bumped him up to fifth with $18,500. And Nels is our sixth seed with two wins at $145,146. Now, in case one of our players is unable to make the tournament or be able to participate, we will go down to the next players on our list. And continue down the list till we use up all of our contestants in the pool till we get our six players who are in the tournament. Okay? So with that said, those are the six players you'll be seeing over the next 
three episodes competing out to see who's going to be the Joker's Wild Season 1 champion. And we'll have that over the next few episodes here on the Joker's Wild. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this bonus long episode here of the Joker's Wild as we wrap up Season 1 here. And we head for our Season 1 Tournament of Champions, and that will be happening next time here on the Joker's Wild. So until then, make sure you like and share this video with all of your friends. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the bell, that way you never miss an episode of the Joker's Wild. And until the reels come spinning your way once again for the Tournament of Champions, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching. We will see you all on the tourney. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, folks. This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Network for great more content like this one.